Hi, and welcome to In The Loop. I'm Danine O'Donnell, and today I'm with Heather Dovenspike from the Paul Lawrence Dunbar Center. So Heather, you and I were chatting a little bit about some of the different things that the Dunbar Center does in the community. And one of the things we were talking about is um, many students and children that live in this area, sometimes they're on subsidized lunch programs during the school year, mm -hmm. but many times I think this community finds that in the summer, these children may not be getting the proper nutrition during the summer. So tell us a little bit about the program that the Dunbar Center does to help these children. Um, the summer feeding program, it's actually a program with the, um, funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and managed by the Pennsylvania Department of Education. And it's meant to subsidize food programs in the summer for kids who normally would be approved for um, free and reduced lunches. So when they come to the center, if they're, how do they find out about this program? Let's put it that way. Does the school tell them or do they contact you directly? We offer programs in the schools during the school year too. So okay. we have the option of handing out, hey, we're doing the summer programs this summer and we do them at all the city parks. So it's a combination between city parks and the school district and any other way we can get information out through the Butler Collaborative for Families, which is a huge group of organizations in the county that likes to, that provide services to people. So we have many ways that we get the information out. Um, we don't typically have any trouble finding children. <laughs> I'm sure. And yeah. I'd imagine different places can make referrals to you as well. Is that right. something that happens? Children and youth um, make a lot of referrals. Churches make a lot of referrals. Okay. Um, and the schools as well. So we have a lot of agencies, churches, schools anybody who, who knows of a family in need. Now is this any school age child at all, all the way up to high school or is it a certain age? It's ages 2 to 18. 2 to 18 mm -hmm. so it does cover high school. Now we were talking about how many locations you have and actually you were listing some of them so how many do you have? Like give us an idea of where all this is provided in the area. We have four locations ourselves. They are at Broad Street Elementary School, um, Institute Hill Playground, Father Man Marinero Park, um, and also at Old Plank Estates. Those are our four feeding locations. We also do programming at Christie Avenue Park. Okay, now when you say programming, you're talking about the food itself or different activities? We provide at all locations programming because not only are these kids hungry, but they also need something to do for the summer. So um, we partner with Slipper Rock University. We use, we use a lot of interns as well as our staff, as well as we partner with Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Um, we partner with 4-H and the Penn State Extension Office to provide other programming for the kids um, as well as food. That's amazing. Well, I've always admired how much the Dunbar Community Center does for the community. Um, now, Armstrong, which I know you're aware of, has a program called Breaking Bread in the community. And it's something that we do to help support programs like yours. Um, and I just want everybody to know that you can go at any time to a local office and take donations for Breaking Bread to support some of these programs in the community. Um, I know internally our, our customer service center and our corporate office, they're doing a food drive to specifically support your summer program yes. coming up. So Heather, um, you also though take donations of food and different items right here at the Dunbar Center. Um, yes. What kind of things do you look for and when can people bring them? Um, we look for any type of food do donations, typically non-perishable items such as granola bars, um, fruit cups, uh, cereal bars, anything like that that we can keep that's shelf stable, that's not going to go bad so we can keep it. Um, we do also like to feed the children fresh fruit and anything like that. So typically if we get big donations of anything like that, we try to serve it in the next day or two so that it's fresh. Um, Money is also good. Um, obviously, we are a grassroots agency that's been around for 80 years, and in order to provide all the, the um, services we provide, we have to pay our staff. Although, we only have very limited paid staff and a lot of volunteers, so I'd like to thank our volunteers, volunteers and people like Armstrong that donate to us and make this possible for all the kids that we volunteers serve. Volunteers keep the world rolling. They huh? do. Yeah. <laughs> now, how can people find out about how to donate to the Dunbar Center? Do you have a website or a phone call? What works best for you? We do have a website. Um, we have a Facebook page. Um, we have a Twitter account, which I don't know how to use, so I can't give you off much information about you that. You have to ask some of your kids. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> um, but our phone number is 724-287-5648, and that is the main number to the center. And donations can be dropped off anytime 
um, during the week where somebody is always here from 8 a.m. to about 5 p.m. Um, and arrangements can be made to make it at any time. So. Very good. Okay, well I really appreciate your talk to us. I really laud your efforts to keep the children, you know, well-centered and rooted in the community and well-fed and giving them something to do. It's really, it's a difficult project and I think more people need to be willing to step up sometimes, so. Any help that we can get in any way, shape, or form yeah. is wonderful. Yeah, you take volunteers. I mean, Absolutely. Do people, yeah, so yeah. you can volunteer as well. So that's mm -hmm. always a good thing to know. So I hope, folks, that you do continue to support this program. You can drop off your food donations at the Dunbar Center. Um, you can support Breaking Bread any time of the year at the any local office location of Armstrong. Bring your donations in there. There's a shopping cart in most of the lobbies, and you can just drop them off and support all the people in the community. For Armstrong, I'm Danine O'Donnell, keeping you in the loop.